Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to What Would Zig Do Gaming. I am your host, Zig, and I am here with XCOM 2. So as I told you in the previous video, this one is also going to be done um, without live commentary. Um, when I first did the video, there was a problem with my microphone. I didn't catch it until recently. Um, so I'm having to dub over the video with commentary. So I hope this works out. I hope that uh, I don't mess it up too badly. The last one didn't go uh, too awful. So let's go ahead and... Uh, so far, I haven't uh, pointed anything out other than the fact that I was on a supply raid. So I have a high amount of... Oh, nice. So I have a high amount of Illyrium and Alloys at the moment. Um, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit the globe here. Uh, I don't think... Well, I think I was going for the rookies, so I'll probably finish that first before going in search of the black market, and then we have to make contact. We have to make contact with New Mexico. Of course, I'm saying that like uh, it changed. Um, I don't remember exactly which order I did it in, but I know it ends up happening. But apparently, we do go for the black market first, which makes sense. Um, that's a big, a big, big resource in this game. And there's the faceless autopsy. Mimic beacon. Filled with these shape-shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Commander, with the advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. What do I go for here? I know not plated armor. Because I'm researching plated armor up where I am now. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll okay. When I have a full report available. Going towards mag weapons. Checking on the willpower situation. Reminded myself of my goals, and back to the globe. Let's go finish up the black market. There was me remembering that I desperately need to start making contact with more areas. Valerian cores, faceless, and advent turrets. And we can ditch most of these. Oh, we're going to hold on to it for now. Okay. I remember doing that then. Oh, here we go. Me and my thing for multiples of five. There we go. Get a little bit of cash. Don't have the intel for any of that. Yep, and then we go get our go back to looking for our rookies. And the Avatar project moves forward. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Oh, okay. So, Realm was in the GTS. And now we'll throw somebody else in there. Because we need another goddamn sharpshooter. <laughs> Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes. For the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. 
Okay, good stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's a shame that you don't have my initial reaction because I was fucking flabbergasted by this. So. Additional dark events um, adds in all these really neat uh, dark events. And it's... Uh, some of them are pods of really powerful enemies. <laughs> well, it turns out one of them. We've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens operation. One of them is it adds in pods of sectopods. Basically all the ones that uh that add in pods of enemies, they require that you have encountered the enemy in the campaign first. Well, if you recall, back to the end of the Lost Tower mission, there was a, a, a prototype sectopod. That apparently counts as a sectopod being found. So that mod now thinks that I can handle sectopods. <laughs> Good times, good, good times. So yeah, we need to get rid of that as fast as possible. Okay, so I've did I already do the squad selection? I guess I did. Oh yeah, because Zach was over there on the right. So here's the squad. We're gonna go uh, extract a v an enemy via or uh, extract a VIP from the city. Jane Kelly going to lead it, uh, bringing Ian in for backup. David the Iron, David the Double Threat Cage coming out uh, for gunner support. Uh, sorry, I'm a little behind here. We're going to bring it, uh, we're bringing Realm out to kind of get her a little bit of experience now that she's uh, been trained up. We're bringing back out Julian because we need to get him leveled up and he's a lot of fun to play with. Shay coming out again because uh, she provides a lot of a lot of uh, skills to the to the squad. Um, Jane Kelly and Ian, uh, we're bringing out, uh, the madness again, and then we're also bringing out, uh, Amanda and Exalt for long-range support. Um, so, we've got a good squad going. Uh, I, I like all these soldiers. They're all very good at what they do. Um, we have no notoriety level, we don't have, a, and we don't have bonuses from cohesion, so... We're going to go in, we're going to rescue Dr. Lena Schneider. That'll give us our third engineer, and then we'll get some intel so that we can start expanding. So, extract a VIP, I believe that's the one where I start with the VIP in custody. So, that means that I do not have concealment, and we're going to be going hard the moment we hit the ground. Amanda kind enough to share her seat with Julian there. <laughs> yep, there's the VIP. Whew! Lots of enemies. Ooh, that was a bad dag spike. Oh, right! Fucking chrysalids already. This isn't good.
Yep. Like I said, going hard the moment we hit the ground. Okay, so now we have to worry about getting into into good position first before we can uh Wow, look at all those enemies. Oof. Yep, just start start us off, Jane. Nice. We can get just a little bit of damage on all of them. We can pop a grenade on them. Yes. Oh, yeah, we might be able to ready. might be able to take this one down. Come on, Ian, we need a good damage roll here. That's exactly what we needed. Well done, Ian. They're not stopping us now. That's as good a place as any. I'm going to bring Julian up. We can use Julian as cover. See if we can get... Let's see if uh, we can get lucky again here. And we do. Awesome. My pleasure. Although right now I'm wishing that I had taken uh okay, okay, I'm going. trench gun rather than slug shot. Yep. We need the damage. That's for sure. Nice. I don't think I used the grenade there. Because clearly I can take those two out. Oh, maybe I do. No, because it would take out my cover, so I don't. Already looking for area denial there. Yep, I think that's what it's gonna do because he gets two of them there. Here we go. I love the firing sounds on that cannon. It just it's so good. So Shay goes up and does a slash. And then she'll retreat. Get it. Move him up into cover. Or move him back into cover, rather. Take out the last chrysalid there.
Fuck you! And Shay will do our hit and run thing. And... And whoop 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 away. Ah, she broke line of sight. Yep, that sounds like something I would do. Put you way back in there so that they can't even see you. Ugh. Uh, did it work? I think it did. That's right, Mr. Tanky. Tanky McTankerson over here. Yeah, armor. You are out of ammo. There you go. Maybe I am a demon. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate, but them is the brakes. But Ian with the cleanup. Good night. Die. Good night, number two. Nope, never mind. Also. Yeah, take that. Plan on having me reload soon. And there we go. It's about time. Watch out for flying glass. Ooh. Ha! Shay's on the most wanted blist. Nope, one at a time, huh? Alright. There you go, Shay.
All right. Yeah, we can get some flanks over here, so let's probably do that. On our way. Get the one that's already injured, probably a good idea. Nice. I see you. I agree. I'm on it. Oh, that's right. His uh his hair trigger uh well, triggered. <laughs> There we go. David Cage putting out the hurt. Getting tired. Overdrive. Yep. And run over here. And frag grenade up to the third floor. Huh. Oh, the whole way down. Nice. Yep, make it happen, Shay. Have a seat, Pete. Oh, only one damage left. Come on, guys. There we go. Nothing new. Yeah. Move our VIP up here and hunker down. And here comes more. <laughs> I love Julian's voice. Clack, 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 clack.
Okay, we'll run Realm over here, probably get her a quick kill. Yep, there we go. That could have been better. Eat it. Eat the buckshot. Oh. Ian's probably going to take him out with uh, soul fire there. Yep, there we go. Die already. They're not stopping us now. Affirmative. And this is the point where we start to all move up, because, uh, I mean, we still have nine turns, but we gotta, we can't wait around for concealment. We can't waste entire, uh, entire turns waiting for concealment to come back here. Ah, oh, one at a time again. Unfortunately, a lot of people are out of position or need to reload. <laughs> do I do that? Holy Christ. Nice. That's really close to the evac zone, though. I hope I don't blow that up. I don't remember if I do or not. trying to find a way to get everybody in here make more people relevant in the in the engagement And aid protocol on Jane. Thread the needle, exalt. Or just put it through the wall, whichever. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka 
Ready for the mosh pit, shaka bra. <laughs> I love that line. Don't mess with the combined might of Max and Chloe. Well, in this case, it would be uh, Shay and Realm. Yep. Indeed they do. Yeah, Ian, nice shot. Yep, get out, VIP. Oh, wait, there's overwatches to consider. I think I make it, though. Oh, shit! Oh, they got shot. I'm sorry. Oh, Christ! Oh! At least she didn't panic. At least she didn't panic. Go on, get out. Well, all the overwatches are gone now. Right, here comes the turret. Clack, clack, clack. Good night, son. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. There's no more glass there, Jane. Oh, Amanda's not going to be much use here, so we'll just put her wherever. Probably the same thing. Oh, no, Exalt's got some shots off here. Or some shots seen, rather. Very nice. Oh, wow, six damage. Overwatch after that. Here comes Julian. Nice shot. Ah, 
That sounded like a promotion. Cool. Run gun? Uh, we're not going to have a flank. That's unfortunate. We will over here. So, run and gun! Yeah, I'm a little reckless with my assaults and my rangers. Well, I guess they're not... I guess he's, they're not rain, typical rangers anymore, so I guess I should just say my assaults. Bring the pain! Bloosh. My curiosity is killing me just like a cat. <laughs> the curiosity, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's less than ideal. Well, at least we got him. That's a caution on the back of it. Caution, turret shoots. Oh, she's just outside. So I'm thinking what it is, is either I have a mod that changes that skill or it's been patched that it only blocks things that are already in the zone of control. Um, I'm thinking is what's going on there. Yeah, go get him, Randall. Nice! What are you doing? Just get him out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm marveling at the fact that the life bar hasn't turned back to red or turned back to blue yet. Still red. Here we go. Bring Exalt up. At this point, I think the mission should be just about over. And that's all that's left, so everybody get out. Jillian jumps his big ol' ass up there, shakes the Sky Ranger a little bit. Auto loader and a laser sight, alright. There it... Right! I start uh, panicking a little bit because there's no way to get... Uh, to get Randall up there. Affirmative. Do you know how awesome this is? I have to try and find a way around. I think I have to run all the way back. 
Oh, no. Oh, I missed that pipe. Because there was a pipe over there on the northeast uh, portion of the map. Yep, I run them all the way back. Her life bar is still red. Let's do this. We're, We're bringing back an enemy unit. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, yep, there we go. At this point, what I'm worried about is the fire spreading and knocking out the, uh, knocking out the evac zone. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. Jesus Christ. Alright, and that's going to be it. You won't have to deal with these non-live commentaries anymore. Hopefully, for the rest of the campaign. But the squad did very well. Only two wounded. Julian was one. I don't... I wonder if they're talking about the VIP as the other. All right, so back at base, good mission. Never had any doubts about your One, two, three, four, nice. Five, six, sweet. And we have a new engineer, good. 92 Intel. Staff that engineer right now. We put, I believe, we put it right there. Yep. Knock that uh, clear out time to 15 days instead of 30. And let's go do some pr promotions here. Amanda. I believe she gets death from above. Yep. And Ian is also going to get Solace, maybe? But I think I have concerns about it not working correctly. So I might end up giving him Sustain. And yet, it does only have three health. Oh, the plus one health was probably from a vest. So yeah, sustain seems like a good idea for Ian. Exalt gets executioner. The madness. What's he taking? So Killer Instinct, uh, plus 50% crit after running gun. Blade Master, of course, is the plus two damage from melee. And Lightning Reflexes is... Uh, it's kind of like... Um, 
I can't remember the name of the skill, but the one where you don't trigger Overwatch. This one does trigger Overwatch, but it's significantly reduced against him. What do we go with here? I thought that was the one. So now, uh, whenever he run and guns up, he has a much higher chance to crit, and he should be able to put some hurt on people. Rainmaker or Strike? Equipped heavy weapons deal plus two damage and have increased area of effect, or we get a punch. So the way that I'm building Julian here is he's very up in your face. Um, he's going to be working on armor and everything, so Strike seems the, the logical idea for him. Uh, so we go. I know we go with Strike on this one. Rainmaker is really cool, and I like it, but... Julian is more of a tank character than a damage character. So he's always going to be towards the front line. Um, so Strike is going to come into play more often. Uh, stuff like that. And I just want to see the punch. Because the Kinetic Strike module was one of my favorite things on the mechs and Enemy Within. And we give Realm Inspire. That should be it for... I don't know what I'm going over here. I think we're going over maybe the notoriety, how it continues to go up. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I think we're going over the wounded as well. So, once again, I apologize for the half-assed way that I had to do commentary here, but uh, I hope that it wasn't too bad for you. I hope that you enjoyed uh, hope you enjoyed the content, hope you enjoyed the commentary, hope you enjoyed the content and the commentary together. But this is certainly not the way that I prefer to do this because I, I like being able to you know spew off my random thoughts in the moment and here I clearly can't do that because I have to try and remember what I was thinking and that's just a lost fucking cause. So, as always folks, uh, remember to like and subscribe and tell your friends, tell your family, Get everybody in on the WWZD train. What are we doing here? Why are we at engineering? See, this is the issue. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I bet right now I'm giving my sign off. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. Remember to like. Remember to subscribe. And do remember to tune in next time to see what would Zig do in XCOM 2. Told you I was doing my sign off. <laughs> tune in next time to see what would Zig do in XCOM 2. I will see you all then.